John here with HL Integrators for another episode of Now You Know. And I thought for today, we would focus on Go High Levels, Contacts, and Smart Lists. So let's just jump straight in and see what is happening there. Oh, just before I do that, hey, please subscribe to our channel. Just click down on the subscription. We're always looking for more people to follow us and grow with us, so please do that. And also, if you haven't started your 14-day free trial, please click the link that's in our description to start your free 14-day trial of Go High Level. You're going to get a fabulous experience, so I really encourage you to do that. So let's dive in now to smart lists and contacts. So we're going to drive this out of one of our accounts. This is uh, Peak Performance Coaching. It's one of our coaching clients. And as always, we're on the launch pad, making sure everything is as expected. Everything is linked, connected, and working well. We are going to move to contacts. Now, contacts seem straightforward, but let's learn a few things. One, if we just go into any contact, let's just take one that is here we see that we have a number of areas that we need to be thinking of. We have the general information, name, email address, phone number, date of birth if you want it, source where you got them from, any tags that are currently associated with that client will show up here and you can add tags here. Uh, type, customer or lead. There's only two possibilities. They're either a lead or a customer here. If you need any more granularity, you're going to use tags or custom fields for that. I uh, emails. This is your do not disturb. This is for your unsubscribe section. You can unsubscribe from emails, text messages, voice calls, GMB messages, Facebook messages, offers. If you have any, um, if you've got products and things that you're offering, we creating certainty in an uncertain world life by design. We do have an offer here and uh, that has gone out to this client. So we can see that. And now we have our active campaigns. There are none. So if we had them in a workflow, this is where it would show up. Previous ones, workflow, text message update to this individual. And then we also have opportunities. So if you're running a pipeline, this is where that would be and where you can move and do things. General information gives you a little bit more. And you get the street address, business name, and some other particulars and time zones. It's so important to make sure you have the time zone set for your contacts because if you use time and scheduling to do things, which we do often, I don't wanna bother people at night or in the morning, we give normal business operating hours the way we run our workflows. This allows you to have it controlled by the time zone. So although I set it based on my time zone, the actual triggering events will happen in that person's time zone. So if we said we only want to send emails out between eight and four during the day, Monday to Friday, no matter what time zone the person's in, they'll only get an email from us in a campaign from eight to four. And that's really important. And then you have the additional information. And this is where we set up all the custom fields. Any custom field you created will show up in this area, allowing you to create as much detail as you need to track a client, to understand what the client's needs are and what they're doing. The other thing that's important is that we see here in the center panel, you have a list of all the communication that's gone on with this client, whether it's a voice call, text message or email. And if you have voice recording turned on, which I suggest you do if you're in sales and marketing, all your voicemail messages and recordings will show up here for the client as well. Then to the far right, you've got this panel and it looks at activities, tasks, notes, and appointments. Now, in this case, this individual act tasks or sorry, activities are the things they engaged with that we have. So they were moving around in our workflows, doing other activities, triggering things, booking, anything that we've created as far as trigger links fundamentally will get tracked over here and recorded. And this individual has it. This person, I happen to know them, they called in and uh, this was a response from a Gmail or a Google um, My Business uh, inquiry and they became a client immediately and they live in here. Then you have any tasks that you've assigned? None, I don't happen to personally use them, but what a great place if you onboard clients and you've got an onboarding process, you can build out all these pre-done tasks for onboarding, assign them to all the, the people that are important and watch and make sure someone's onboarded properly. So select, and then you can look at notes. 
this is where we keep all the notes on the individual and what's important and it is in chronological order it's fabulous you can search on these notes which is even more amazing you can post to these notes um, through workflows you can do amazing things here and lastly you can see all the appointments that have happened when they've happened and uh, go forward with that as you do your scheduling so a very simple and wonderful powerful place to start out in contacts so you've got your constant flow here and what i like even more is if you pay attention to here you see a couple more things one i can now click through contacts so i don't have to leave here to get to the next contact i can go back and forth just chronologic in, in you know forward and backwards based on how i've done my sorting second assign to i can immediately assign this person if the system hasn't to a person right from the contact and do it next i can create phone calls immediately from here as well i click on the phone bam it's going to take the client and create the phone call a lot of power going on just on this first level of what's happening but let's get all the way back out to the high level of smart list there's a few more things you need to know one is that you have column choices what do you want to see here what information is important to you and you can select from every single field that is available in the system to choose what you're looking at for the client and this is important if you're going to export your database if you have not selected all these columns you're only going to get what you see here on the screen exported and you're probably going to want more detail than that to get all the information if you're moving your stuff second you have more filters so this gets into our ability to filter and refine the list into smart lists and a smart list is something that's based on a set of filters that you've saved and it constantly is updating itself so you don't have to regenerate it every time you want to look at it it knows as activities are happening as workflows assign criteria and fill in things these smart lists move automatically and keep themselves up to date that's why they're called smart so you don't have to constantly rebuild them they are able to generate themselves and you're able to again draw from a huge variety of fields to create filtering to look at who you want to see and what you'd like to do with them again very powerful you can save them you can add multiple layers of filtering so it can be this 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 field empty field full all the criteria you can imagine by each field that is a wonderful thing and then you have this wonderful panel here this lets you add a brand new contact this lets you put it into a pipeline if you just want to move it around without going down below you can take a group of people and move them over these are powers this is another add to a campaign or workflow so if you just select a group of people and you want to move them into a new workflow you want to send a text message to a group of people you want to send an email to a group of people again you can do it right from here write it and it goes out to everyone this is about adding or deleting tags so you can add or remove tags on bulk again you select a group of people and you can do this in a bulk move you can delete in bulk or singularly you can send a request send a review request this is tied to google and this is for doing your reputation management and it's, it's automatically will send out a request for them to go and give you a google request again a bulk action real simple to do this is upload and download, which means you import a file or export a file. We often import data from other sources uh, that are doing things, other systems that generate leads for us and uh, ongoing um, data. And you get lots of choices in that as well in what to import, how to marry it to the fields and whether you're updating, replacing or whatever. And then you've got merge. So if you ended up with multiple versions of a contact, you can select them all and merge them together to get it back down to one contact. Very, very powerful. Top line contact requests. You can ask someone to, to send you data and fill in a, a thing. Bulk actions let you go in and see all the activity, which during this talk period, I don't have any, but all the bulk actions that are going on completed, not completed, anything that's happening. Restore a database if you need to. People you've deleted, it keeps a record so we can go in and restore them. And your smart list manager. 
If you have a smart list, which in this field we don't, they would all show up here. These are saved smart lists that we've done. We can share them, assign them, delete them, do whatever we want from here, rearrange how they appear on our screen, all from one place. So this is a pretty high level view of what's happening inside contacts, but it is a fabulous, powerful place to do everything you do from. And what I encourage you to do when you're building your contacts, when you're thinking of those custom fields, less is more. Because the more fields you try to save, the more fields you try to have on your client, the more you need to maintain them. So think about what is the minimum data that you need to serve your clients best. And that's the power of the tool. And this integrates into every other module of Go High Level. So I'm John Marshall with HL Integrators. This has been Now You Know. Please subscribe to our channel by hitting the subscription button. Click in the description for the 14-day challenge and participate. And we'll see you next time on Now You Know.